and welcome to this very quick video which shows how we can connect Deploy Hub to Jenkins in order to create a CI CD setup. Now in this scenario we're going to get Jenkins to build a simple web application and Deploy Hub is going to take the output from the build and deploy it to our target web server. So here you can see our simple web application called IT Guys. It just lists some notable people in IT. <clears throat> Not a particularly complex app but keeping it simple will allow you to easily see what's going on. As you can see, this is currently running on a remote Windows server, and I'll hit refresh a few times just so you can see that we're running version one. And here's the Jenkins project that builds this application. As you can see, the project is called IT Guys, and the output file that the build creates is itguys.war, and Jenkins is running on a Mac server. So a post build step will involve downloading the IT Guys war file from the Jenkins archive and delivering it to the correct location on our target Windows server. And we want to do this over open protocols so we don't want to install anything on our target Windows machine. So here we are in Deploy Hub and this is a vanilla instance. We've got an out of the box configuration here as though we've just downloaded Deploy Hub and fired it up for the first time. What we're going to do now is to configure Deploy Hub to take the output from the Jenkins and deploy it automatically to our target Windows server. Now the latest version of Deploy Hub has a wizard that will set up all the objects that we need to configure this integration. So I'm going to use this new wizard to configure Deploy Hub. And to make it interesting, I'm going to try and set this up in under two minutes. So let's have two minutes on the clock, please. OK, we're going to start the clock as soon as I launch the wizard. Here we go. So the first question is, what kind of setup do we require? And we're going to go for a quick Jenkins setup. So this page tells us all the things that it's about to create. We'll just go next. And now it's going to ask us where we want to create our new objects. So I'm going to click my development space and every object that it creates gets an owner and that's asking us who we want to own these new objects. So I'm going to leave that as administrators. Now it wants to know where the Jenkins server is. So I'm going to, it's Mac 8081 and the Jenkins project name is IT guys and the output file name was IT guys. War. And that's it as far as Jenkins is concerned. Now we want to know where our target server. So I'm going to uh, take the uh, host name from there because it's actually quite difficult. Uh, now we need to know the base directory. So I'm going to do Tomcat, web apps. And finally, we need some credentials in order to connect to that Windows box. And we hit finish. And that's the uh, wizard done. Uh, so what it's doing is it's created all these different objects and now it's telling me that in order to deploy, I need to uh, tell Jenkins to deploy application 101 to environment 101. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to configure. I'm going to go to my plugin. I'm going to say environment 101, application 101. And of course I could rename these uh, but this, this is the uh, the values that the wizard has just created for us. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to pause. 16 seconds left, so we've made it in the two minutes. Let's try doing a build. Build 219 has been done. Let's have a look at build 219, look at the console output, and you can see that it's in deploying application 101 to environment 101, and deployment 130 was started. If I go back to Deploy Hub Pro, close my wizard, and go to my application, and look at the timeline, I can see the deployment 130 has been done into environment 101 that was triggered by Jenkins. It was build 219 that's been deployed. I can look at the new version, and if I refresh that now, I get version two, which has added our date of birth column. And if I look back at my uh, deployment log and have a look at the feedback loop, I can see that build 219 resulted in a rebuild of component 102, which was part of application 101, which was deployed to environment 101, which was deployed finally to server 101. So I've got a complete integration between my build number and my server. And I can look at my endpoint and my environment. And look at my environment. And I can see application 101 has been deployed by deployment number 130. And if I look at my, uh, my endpoints, I can see server 101 and build number 219 was deployed uh, to that server. And I can actually pull up the Jenkins build log uh, from inside Deploy Hub. 
So there we have it. That's a very, very quick and easy way of connecting uh, Jenkins into Deploy Hub to turn it into a CI CD process um, in under two minutes. Uh, of course, we can then uh, make this more, more sophisticated by adding additional files and configuration files uh, and stuff like that, but uh, you can see how simple and quick it is uh, to connect this up and get this operational. Uh, that's the end of the video, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.